Hello there, and welcome to another Starfield video. So today we're doing another mod review. We're checking out another awesome mod by Cordic. So we're going to be checking out the useful Briggs and the non-lethal framework. So basically what they do is useful Briggs is kind of in line with his uh, useful infirmaries and useful mess halls. It opts, it opts to basically make Briggs useful. So you can put people in them and basically sell criminals. And then the non-lethal framework makes it so that when you knock someone out, you have the option to restrain them. And when you restrain them, you can basically, you know, tell them to follow you and stuff. We're also going to be using the non-lethal framework patch for useful breaks. So yeah, we're going to try them out. So let's get into it, shall we? All right. So the first thing we talk about is the, uh, the kind of the smaller of the two mods, and that is the... Um, the, the kind of the handcuffs or the restrain frameworks. I'm going to really quickly just show you um, that all three of the mods. Well, non-lethal framework, useful breaks, and then non-lethal. So with the non-lethal framework, um, it basically adds the ability to um, restrain non-hostile humanoids. You can disarm them and tell them to follow you. And then you can release them or you can sell them. Now it adds the 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 kind of the handcuffs into the like the trading list so you can get them into the trade authority. You see distribution, you see surplus, and on security guards. But you can also craft them, so we're gonna go craft them. Okay, handcuffs there we go. Also, I just want to point out somebody said that I don't need to pull from this loot box. You do, sadly. It doesn't link to any of the uh the stuff which is kind of annoying but you know hey, let me help carry some things so we're gonna make some handcuffs we'll make them. so apparently um due to a recent change with the mod you need to uh bash damage a knocked out enemy to get them to show the interaction so obviously if you're using one of these mods on their own they will kind of have different um different features yeah we also need like an em weapon and i just realized simian is probably gonna right we're gonna be right back i'm gonna go get myself an em weapon so now that we have our weapons myself and simian are rocking some em weapons we've also kitted out our ship the mammoth it's got uh two brigs a hope tech uh two by one brig and a stroud eklund two by two brig so yeah so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and capture some enemies so i have a bounty mission here um silver room we're gonna go and do that and we're gonna knock them out and see how it goes so yeah let's get all right, so let's go knock them out. I'm interested to see how, like, how much money you get from kind of doing this. So we're gonna we're gonna knock out a few. Low house for room. Now, one of the the, the only things I will say is, depending on the difficulty you're playing on, um, knocking enemies out could be quite a tricky. I knocked him out, so we're gonna get a KO him, restrain. Right, character is restra restrained. Uh, oh, so here we go. With the option to release, follow, or send a break. We're gonna tell him to go to the break. Send a break. You can't do that while in combat. Okay, so we need to knock out the other one. So I would, if, um,. If you are, like, kind of going the Bounty Hunter route, I'd probably download a mod that makes EM weapons more beneficial. I do have the perk that increases EM. One weapon actually works quite well, um, is the, the sniper from the... Why? It's like only like every second, but the sniper from the um, the vulture quest line. There we go. We hit him once, restrain, and we're gonna send to break. Now I can't do that in combat. Okay, so we're gonna basically kill everyone. 
Shield. Okay, no. So we're gonna go and clear out this area, and then we'll. I'm also gonna grab the um, the main enemy here as a bounty. Yeah, the 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 EM weapons like are kind of well, they're shit to be honest with you. Like I remember when the um, quest came out for the you know when the Tracker Alliance quest came out, I was trying to knock one of the Tracker bounty quests out, you know, because I wanted to uh, take him alive. And I have to turn on God mode. And I'm assuming I'm going to have to do the same thing again here. We shall see. I'm not sure if there's any mods. Like, I do have... The thing is, I'm only playing on normal for this one, and I do have the EM damage. It's like a 15% chance to do 300% more damage. Hello, Holly. I don't know if there's any, um... There was the, the safe house mod had, like, a really cool weapon that, like, knocked enemies out, but it was only temporary. It didn't do, like, EM damage. I don't know if the mod author ever, like, addressed that, because, like, it was quite a cool having, like, the unique round. Get him, Gary. Go and we're gonna knock out the main character up here. I think it takes some time. I like I should have been dressed like the Mandalorian. I could bring in warmer cold. Get the main bad guy. It would be nice if Simeon was here, but fucking useless. I know you'd be like, Crimson, aim for the head, it's quicker. And that is true, but it's kind of hard aiming for it, because enemies, for some reason, have, like, a crazy immunity to EM damage. And, like, if you're not doing constant EM damage, they'll just, like, basically, you can see it going down there. I mean, stop talking and knock this person out. If you're wondering why the perk's popping up, uh, when you use console commands, basically give yourself a perk. There you go. Straight. Nice. Now, then to break. Alright, perfect. So they just disappear. Now we'll go grab them ones. So I got 3,000 credits for doing that. And then we'll go and grab the other two. And then we'll, we'll check them on the brig. So I'm going to make one of them follow us. The guys outside. I like the idea of just like, you know, like having the NPCs just chilling outside like they've been disarmed. Right, you, to the brig. And then the last one, we're going to make them follow us. So we can... Talk. That talk. Follow, please. Go we'll get up. Their hands behind their back. Okay, come on. This is, that's really cool. This is really, immersively, this is awesome. Okay, so we're gonna, gonna lead them to the brig and see what, what happens if we can, like, put them in the cell. So obviously if you if you don't have the brig installed you won't get the option to bring them to or send them to the brig um but the thing is like because these mods are both made by the same mod author it just makes sense running them together so following me cool all right hey spacer myth That's so cool. Can I do anything? Okay. Alright. So. 
I don't know if the brig gives us like any unique options. I don't think it. Okay. Brig. And the brig. Okay, teleport in there. So let's talk to the. Yo, what up? Okay. I want to check something. Oh, awesome. So the mod author made it so that the door is actually closed, which is really nice. But that's that for some reason, that feature wasn't a thing. We have... Hi there! Alright, so now we can go and, like, bring them. So we're gonna fly to C-Sec. I'm not gonna see how much we get for them. Oh, we're still in Alpha Centauri. Uh, so with the like giving the giving the 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 you can trade enemy players to CSEC, SysDef, and the Rangers, I believe. And but you can sell anyone to Crimson Fleet, which interesting. Go to New Atlanta. Checking the... Alright, let's go to... I'm assuming we just go in here and we, like, have an option, maybe? Back. Alright, so, one thing to note that's quite cool is all of the items owned by the prisoner gets transferred to your ship's cargo hold. Uh, which is really cool. So that's why I have some Varun gear. I really like that. Does it give me all of the gear? Yeah, it does. That's really cool. Right, so let me see. Just talk to me. Doing to stop new alien attacks on the city. Problem? Oh, that's cool. I'm here to turn in three prisoners. That's very cool. Okay, okay. All right, so now we'll wanna, I want to try. We're going to look for the... We're going to look for the, uh, like, you know, like the NPC have bounties and we're gonna basically see like if we get like any unique interaction with them because i am curious how it like plays with the tractors alliance we'll be back when i find someone to arrest it's just to confirm i am here at the uc distribution center hello saint um and then if we go down to miscellaneous you can see we can buy handcuffs for 23 credits very nice. Back to it then. All right. So yeah, we're gonna probably go to. I don't know why that's there. We're gonna go to Neon because they usually have some nefarious individuals. All right. So we have two targets here. Animal crew. Selling ash to under the label of ancient dog. Yo, Jonah. Hey, get out of my. You wanna die? I suggest you stand get down. Out of my face. You honestly believe me. You won't win a fight with me. Do you feel powerful? Uh if I let you go to ruin my reputation? Are you kidding? Let me think. Nice job. We are restrain him. Nice. Aha! Send me the break. Perfect. Right. Okay, so you can sell them to Neon Security. Oh hey. All right. Surrender and you get to leave. That's a fair point. No, no. Uh, maybe you'll pay fine. I give up. Oh no. All right, so we're gonna. Oops. Hello. <laughs> you are not supposed to be here. All right, so we're gonna go to the um, we're gonna go to the Tractors Alliance. Let's see if I can sell that person to the Tractors Alliance. We'll be right back.
Right, let's see if we can sell them to yeah, nope. no quarter. Show no what about you? <laughs> Look what the Ashton drag. Yeah, I nope. you luck, but Check the guys downstairs. Well, yes, speak with Reaper's grace be with you. Assuming it'd be this. What is your query? If any of the think information I should... I've given you was wrong, it was probably what, what can I do you for, young gun? So long. Look at the seat. There's no here. Fancy a drink. Okay, so Stay apparently safe. you can't give the bounties to these guys. We're gonna go and maybe who are you? Hey, hey yo. Hasta luego, my friend. We're gonna go basically give them to the Aquila City. Oh, oh my god. Oh, well. Makes a bullet sponge. All right, let's talk to a guard. Yo. Hi. You're out there a lot, right? Got to turn in some prisoners. And just do us. Thanks. Um. Kind of interesting. I have this like stay. Now, can I like turn them in? Hopefully, you're not sick, but just never ever go outside the city walls after sundown. Ashta are more aggressive at night. Oh. Alright, so that happens if you try and release them. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I know this mod, it's been out for quite a while. Uh, I know I'm only getting to it now. Uh, as always, I, I test these mods on PC. Let me know if you're running it on Xbox, if there's any issues. Usually there isn't, but you know, I always like to know just because but yeah as always awesome mod both of them and obviously the patch that makes them work between so if you're looking for a kind of you know like a bounty hunter mod this is the mod and it's free you know so bonus points as always guys thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and catch you in the next one uh, bye bye